Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's a wonderful plan. I'm Tina. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this is the first time that you are stopping by, I hope you have a good time here with me. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for joining me again in another video. All right, today I'm super excited because I am going to be setting up my Erin Condren Petite Daily Planner for 2023. Oh my gosh, I love this time of year. Like this is so much fun being able to set up your new planners. It's just, I don't know, it's like you hit this reset button and uh, it's just, it, for a planner, it's like such a great time, like the new year, new planner. But before I show you what I'm going to be using for 2023, I want to go ahead and show you what I have been using for 2022. So this is my Erin Condren Petite Daily Planner, and this is the folio that I've been using. Now, this is the first year that I've used this planner system, and I love it. Like, I love it. It's so nice. It's compact. It's easily portable, and it's got lots of different options. So I'm going to open this up. And if you've never seen this system before, this will be all new to you. So the, everything is sold separately. So we've got the folio here. And I do have some items in here that I was not able to get at the Erin Condren store. So um, this, for instance, this insert is actually something that I had to get on Amazon because they did not have this. Now, this is an Erin Condren product. It's specifically made for this petite folio system, but they just don't have it there. Um, but it kind of goes all the way around to the back here. It's got like a pocket here, and then it has like other pockets in through here that you can do different things with, which I will be switching out. So what I currently have in here is my travel journal. I just never took it out of here. Um, I generally don't keep this in here all the time, but I just kind of left it in there and I actually have some things I need to kind of go back in and fill out for when we took our last trip. Um, and then the next one I have here is my planner. So this is volume four, which is October through December, the daily planner. And then this one right here is a notes. So this particular notes is the productivity note pages, which has this section here. And then it has like this um, like list section on the side with these little bullet points that you could check off. And then the back side of the page is just lined paper. So those are the three planners that I have in my system currently. I do switch them out as I need to. It's really such a nice system because you can take them out. Um, put them in however you choose. Now this actually does hold four petite planners. The max that I use is three and that's pretty chunky as far as I'm concerned. I'm trying to find the other, oh here it is, the other um, cord for the fourth. So you can fit four of them in here but I'm going to show it to you like this. It's pretty chunky the way that it is. So I don't, I personally would not want to put another one in there. I think it's like perfect the way it is like this. And actually, I usually only have two in here, but um, yeah, so that is what I have been using. Now, I am going to be kind of taking some of this apart because the only thing I need to start up my new planner is this right here. So I'm going to take this out. All right, so I got that out, and then I'm also going to take this because I want to use this in my new setup. So I'm going to set that to the side here and I am good with my planner so I can uh, continue this out and finish out 2022 with this right here because um, everything I need is already in there I don't need anything from there to set up 2023 all right let's look at the new folio that I have for 2023 it's beautiful oh my gosh it is in bloom and it's so so pretty now um i do have an unboxing of all of the things that i got from my black friday order from erin condren if you haven't seen that i will go ahead and um link that down below in the description so you can go ahead and check that out 
All right, so let's go ahead and look at this folio. Um, if you haven't seen that unboxing yet, it's so pretty. It's gorgeous. It has this beautiful like rose gold foil throughout it. It's got like the florals are just lined in that foil. It's so pretty. And then we have like some lined art that is all in that rose gold foil. And it's on the back as well. And I love it because it has like the hardware, which is the rose gold that matches that. And you can get these personalized. So I decided to personalize this one with my name in the rose gold foil. And it just matches so beautifully. And then the cord is neutral. So I like that. And then we're going to open it up here and look at the inside. And it's just this really like neutral tone in here. I like that because anything that I put in here is going to like just coordinate nicely with that. All right. So here are the four cords and these are, uh, you can pull them accordingly, however you need to tighten them up. And then this right here is the cord that goes like around the whole thing. So this actually would come out if you just pulled it all the way out, but I'm not going to do that because I don't need to do that. So this is um, the folio here. And I am going to be making some changes to this insert here, but let's see here. I think I'm going to take out everything that I have in here. Or actually, you know what? I'm going to put it in here first and then I'm going to make the changes. So this actually just feeds like right behind all of the cords. And the nice thing about this little um, extra pockets in here, you can actually like reverse it if you want, like have this big pocket in the front and have the, the separate pockets in the back, but I like it this way. So the back one has this pocket. It does have this like little flip thing. So if you wanted to like close it, but I personally like it open, but for security, you could put your items in there and then that like flips down. So that way it um, nothing falls out, but I'm really careful. So I don't have that issue. And then, um, these little packets. Now the cards I'm keeping here, these are my cards uh, for It's a Wonderful Plan. These appointment stickies, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these or I might switch them out, but I'm definitely taking this stuff out of here. Now, the one thing that I did notice with this is that things will slide in and out very easily. So to avoid that, I had to use a little washi tape. So I just rolled a little piece of washi tape and stuck it on the back so that way I could keep all of the things from sliding out because when I first set this one up, it kept doing that and it was really, really annoying. So that was how I um, just kept everything like nice and secure in here. So that is what I will be doing again. So on this side, you have like business um, card size here. And the reason this doesn't slip out is because I have it with a paper clip, but um, let's take that out. There we go. So see, I have a little washi on the back <laughs> and it just kept everything nicely in there. So it wasn't sliding around, but okay. So now it's all set up for me to put the new items in here, which I have over here on this side. So I, I grabbed a bunch of different things um, I kind of wanted to change it out a little bit. I want this in there. I'm not sure. I might want these stickies. I'm not quite sure which ones of these I want in there. I want either this one or this one is really cute. This is going to go on the other side. And then I have this right here, which is really just cardstock paper, but I kind of liked the colors. It's really pretty and soft, and I kind of want to just like put them in here, but I'm going to have to do, oh, maybe not. This is kind of like, it's cut almost like perfect, so maybe it won't slide out. Yeah, I think I'll be okay. All right, so this one... That one's a little bit, I wonder if this one fits better over here. Yeah, there we go. So I kind of like that. It just kind of like has a nice base to it. 
and then I wanted this to be in front of that. You know what? I don't think this is going to slide out because that kind of is snug in there. So that's nice. Okay. And then down here, I haven't decided if I want to put that card in there. Because these are going to stay in here. And then I'm going to have pictures here, which I don't have just yet. Or that. I think I like this one. I think I like, this is like kind of like a nice clean look. So I'm going to put that one to the side. And then I... I don't think I need these appointment stickers. I found that I don't really use the appointment stickers in here, but I think I might like these. So I'm gonna just grab a few of these. So all I'm doing here is just kind of like taking two different types of sticky notes and sticking them back to back. And then that way it kind of gives me the option of the sticky notes that I need to grab. So I'm gonna put this in here. I definitely need sticky notes, so that's good. All right, so I'm gonna take these. Oh, unless I use this. Maybe I'll use that one. Yeah, I never, I never seem to use these, so I think I'm gonna switch it out. And I'm going to put this like this. I'm going to put it kind of almost back to the way I had it, but so that way I could see that. Okay, that's good. I like that. Like I said, I'm going to put pictures here. And then I have these two cute little cards. I am not sure which one I'm going to use. I think I want to use this one. I think that that's really pretty. And this is pretty too, but I think I'm going to use this one here. But I need a pocket. So in this folio... I'm going to show you. I have this pocket here. I love this pocket here. It's awesome. But the pockets that I got are huge. All right. So I got these. They didn't have the medium ones. I didn't even look at the size. I should have looked at the size, but I did not. But look at how big those are. That's too huge. Like, first of all, I don't need all of that. And, um, I'm thinking I'm going to cut it. I think if I cut it down, that it'll be like just perfectly fine. So I haven't done it yet. I wanted to kind of show it to you first, but I am going to cut this down. So I have to measure it out and the paper on the back is really glossy. So I'm really not going to be able to even draw a line on there. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm going to give it my best shot here so I think the main thing is is just kind of like marking this up as best I can okay I'm so excited because it worked I cut it down and it worked out perfectly so I'm really excited so again this is the original size and I was able to cut it down obviously it's not like as perfect you know, around this way, but I think, I think I did a pretty good job. So awesome. So you know, you can cut those down. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and adhere this on to this planner. Okay. So it's super, super sticky. I want this to be pretty like close to the edge, but not so much that it's going to be a problem with it like getting caught on things. All right. So this one had a little bit of a weird like pucker under there, but I think it's going to be just fine. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. So happy. I love my pockets up here. Okay, so. I'm going to put this little card in here and I just like to have something here because if I put things behind here, they're kind of like hidden and you can't really see anything. So I'm going to also put this paper clip here because this is probably going to like move around. So 
put that like that to keep it from moving around. All right, so I will probably put some stickers back there because that's usually what I do. So this part is all set up. Okay, now I'm going to show you the journals that are going to go in there. All right, so the planners are in quarters. So this one right here is the first quarter. This is from January to March. Look at how pretty this is. I love that they chose to do the in bloom for 2023. Um, I have this one and then I have the next quarter as well. I only decided to get six months worth at this time because you never know things could change and maybe I decide I wanna change up the system. I don't know what the future foresees as far as using the same planner throughout the whole year of 2023. So we will see what happens with that. But um, this one is gonna be January through March. I love the coloring in here. Let's just do a flip through so you can see how the layout is set up. So we got this really pretty teal on the inside here. And then we've got our, this book belongs to, and it says here, volume one, January through March daily planner. So it's a daily planner. We're going to open it up here. Here is the month at a glance. So you just like dive right in. There's no like extra pages in here for like year at a glance or anything like that. It's just straightforward. Here's the month at a glance. So we're in January. It does have the in bloom detailing at the top there. It's Sunday through Saturday and then it does have the note section on the side. There are pre-printed holidays in here. Now we're gonna turn and it's daily pages. There are no weekly layouts in this particular planner, okay? So I'm gonna open this up here and this one is starting on a Friday. It's starting on December 30th. Um, once you, I show you the new week, you'll see how the whole layout is, but we've got Friday here, we've got Saturday and Sunday that are sharing one page, okay? So since the first is on a Sunday, and this is like the layout for the daily planner here, they included the 30th and the 31st. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn this and let's start looking at it from like a fresh week. All right, so here we've got Monday's always here, and Tuesday is always here. This has got three sections here. You've got an area to put headings here, and then you've got another lined area here with some bullet points, so you can make that a to-do list or whatever you like. You could change that to hourly, however you wanna do that. You've got your month at a glance here, and then the rest of that is blank, all right? On Tuesday, it's the same thing, but it's mirrored, and then this is completely blank. There is no little calendar on this side here. All right, so we've got Monday, Tuesday. We've got Wednesday and Thursday are the same. We've got Friday, which is the same on this side. And then Saturday and Sunday are on one page. So we're missing the sections here. We've got the blank section and we've got the bullet point lined area. Okay, so, um, and then there are some like little quotes at the bottom, but I'm not sure. I think it's just like on a couple of the weeks throughout the month, not every single one. So that is the layout for the daily planner. And then it's going to go all the way and then we're into February. So we have a different color scheme here. And then we also have a different color scheme for the dailies. So I like the colored boxes. I try to match things up with like my stickers when I do decorate this. You can obviously do however you choose. Um, here is March, so you can see like all of the colors. This is all the in bloom color scheme, so it's very like light and soft and muted colors in here, as opposed to the ones that I've been using for this year. Definitely more vibrant colors, so I'm looking forward to having a, like a softer color palette in here. All right, so that's the planner here. Now I want to go ahead and set up this page. It's going to be pretty simple. I do have some stickers on the side here and I'm gonna put my name and I'd like to use stickers in there to do that. So I'm gonna be using um, stickers, mostly all from the Happy Planner. I have a couple of other things here, but I use a lot of Happy Planner stickers in this daily and it works out perfectly for me. So I am going to be using 
Let's see. I think I'm gonna use this one right here. These gold foil ones. I'm just gonna put my name down here. And then I think I might add some florals. I have some florals picked out that I kind of want to put in here. Okay. The nice thing is that line in there like really helps because um, you can use that as a guide to put your letters down straight. All right, so I am going to decorate the rest of this and I'm going to use stickers from Happy Planners Happy Blooms and then floral elements from Amber Plans Her Day. And I actually um, grabbed some of the stickers that I'm gonna use over here around the name. I kind of clustered those together already, but I just have to lay them down. I am gonna put the stickers on here. I've got some um, gold foil stickers. I thought that these would be really pretty. Just kind of like over on this side. All right, so I think, I think I'm gonna put them kind of like here and maybe one of these like in the corner. I don't know, I just kind of wanted to have a little bit or maybe on this side, let's see. I didn't really think about how I wanted to do this. Oh, I think I wanna put it on this side. I think that's pretty, let's see here. Just adds just kind of a little something to the page. When I open it up, oh, that's pretty. I like it. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, and then I think I'm going to add something over here. kind of cute. Just kind of gives it a little something extra when I open it up. Maybe I'll do something in the corner here. Yeah, I like the way that looks. You probably are getting a lot of glare from my light, but it looks really pretty. All right, so now I'm gonna put these other ones over here. So I kind of wanted to bring this color over, but I wanted to also mix it with the gold foil. So I'm gonna just kind of put this, I think right there, that's pretty. And, hmm, do I want it like that? I think so. And then I have this little one here. Just gonna put it right there. Okay, I kind of like that. That's really cute. Okay, so this one is all set. All right, and then the next one that I have here, this one is a gratitude journal. This is so pretty. And it's got like this very light, I guess it's, I don't know, it's almost like a very muted kind of gold foil on here. It almost looks like a rose gold, but it's just, it's so soft, it's pretty. It's almost like champagne color. Very pretty. Look at how beautiful that is. Like, I don't need anything here except for my name. So I'm going to grab this letter sticker book here and I'm gonna use these to put my name in here. Use the, it's a gold, I couldn't really find anything exactly, but I thought this was perfect. All right, so I got my name in there. All right, so this is a gratitude journal. It says develop an attitude of gratitude. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like in here. All right, so it has here 
sections and the really small sections, you could see that there are, is an area here to write the date in. So it's undated, which is really nice. You could put whatever date in here. You don't have to do it every day. Um, and then it does have prompts. What I learned today, ways I honored myself today, people I connected with today, how I played today, positive moments from today. Now, obviously you can follow the prompts on there and answer those questions or you can just cover it up with a sticker or something and write your own thing in here. And then this section right here is blank. So it's got an area here for six, like three and three on each page. So I um, I think it all, yeah, and it changes. It's all like different. So this is pretty nice. I really, really like this. And then I think, oh, here it is. And then there's a, 30 day reflection. Look at these pages. Aren't those so pretty? I really like this. You don't have to do anything here. You open it up. They are pretty inviting pages already. I love that about this. So you can write in whatever they're saying here. My favorite moments, things I've learned, waves I've grown, 30 day observances. And then we have looking forward, goals and intentions, looking forward to things to improve on, next 30 day focus. So, and then it just goes right into the prompts again. So I love this little uh, journal. It's really pretty. It changes up like every 30 days, the colors will change. And this particular print is the print from last year. This is the Flora. It's stunning, like, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, and then let's see, at the very end, yes, there is a six month reflection. So we've got the same kind of prompts there, but for six months, and then for the next six months. And we've got these beautiful pages here that have these florals on here. It says, there is always something to be grateful for. Oh, so true. And then the back here, we've got gratitude makes a difference in your attitude. And then there's a sheet of stickers in here. So that was pretty awesome. Love that. All right. So that is going to go in to my folio, but I have one more to set up and that is going to be my self-care journal. Look at how pretty this is. This watercolors are Gorgeous, just gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. And now this one is very simple. So I thought that I would add a few little elements in here um, that coordinate with, of course, the beautiful soft pink that's on the inside. And I've got some stickers on the side to do this pages with. So let's go ahead and do that next. So I have another sticker book from the Happy Planner. This is the Bell's Floors sticker book. And I love, look at how pretty that is. It's got that really pretty soft like rose gold in here. And there's another sticker here that I really, really want to use. Um, this one, Bloom. I love this. And I want to put that like right over here. So I think I'm going to do that. I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, so let's get this on here straight. I'm going to flip it over first because I just kind of want to get an idea. And I'm going to put it like right over in here. And I don't know if I want to center it or if I want to bring it up. Hmm, or I have it down here. I almost like it down here because it's very like straight at the bottom with this M and it'll kind of just like oh oh no please come up okay that's good that O I did not make enough allowance for the O okay okay here we go 
All right, that looks really pretty right there. Oh my goodness, I really, really like that. Okay. All right, so I was testing a few things out. I added this sticker up here. I think that that is really pretty. And I think I'm going to continue that with these stickers, but I want to kind of like trim them so they're sort of like framed. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these and kind of put them like right up against the top here. because I think that that would look really pretty. It's kind of like continuing. And then we have one more here. I'm afraid to lay it and then cut it because I might have trouble, but let's see. I definitely don't want to cut the cover. Okay. And Ah, okay, it worked. Okay, that is really pretty. I've got some more florals left over, but then I have these stickers that I wanna put on this page. So I covered up these lines here with a white jelly roll pen because I like this here. Thought that would be pretty. I kind of hold it up so you could see it. It's foil, so it's really hard for you to see. Um, and then I'm going to put my name, but I'm going to put it like right on top of these. All right, so I think that that looks really pretty. I'm trying to angle it so you can see how it turned out with the floral underneath. Then I have this really pretty sticker that I want to put up here. And it says, it's a beautiful life. And the beautiful is in that foil that is, of course, matching. So let's get this up here straight. Okay, it's straight. It's centered. I think it's straight. It looks pretty straight. So now I kind of want to carry this floral across just a little bit. Um, and I think I could do that with these. All right, so I went ahead and put the stickers on. I It was so much work because I was really limited on these stickers, and but I made it work. I like kind of pieced it together and just added like a cute little frame around here. I know this is kind of hard to see because of all of the foil, but it really, it's so pretty in person. Like I love the way that it turned out. So I have the trimming over here and then it kind of flows this way bloom it says it's a beautiful life and um this book belongs to and then i put my name over the florals there and then i did add this little strip down here because i just thought it kind of like tied everything together but i think that this is so pretty i'm so happy with the way that it looks this is a self-care journal and it says i am a priority so i thought that all of these stickers were perfect for this we're gonna open it up and we're gonna look at it in a little bit more detail. Um, it says here, you are a priority. And then you just wanna like read it over. There's a little commitment thing that you want to fill out down here. Make space for your self-care. Self-care is unique to you. Be kind to yourself. And then there's more things here. Getting support from your people, getting support from others. Be kind to yourself. Look at that beautiful page. I love that watercolors. Um, those florals are so pretty. And then we have another like really pretty background similar to what we saw in the gratitude journal. And we have this week, 
Um, Self-care this week looks like how I need support, what support looks like. And then we have um, one page. So you could write the date in here so it's undated. Today's positive thought, a mood log, a sleep log, today's self-care, and other ways I took care of me today. So we're going to turn the page and then we have the same thing. So this is going to go all the way for the week. And then at the end of the week, we've got a tracking the week. There's use the grid below to track whatever you want or need to this week. Um, and then this is reflecting on the week, how I took care of myself this week. Best part of the week, next week I will. Self-care that works well for me. And then we turn the page and we're into a new week. So that is like the whole journal here. I love the prompts. I'm loving the coloring in here. You can add stickers or not, whatever you want. And then let's look at the very back pages here. And it says here, celebrating you. I'm proud of myself for, I'm grateful for, I know I'm capable of, how I feel, how I've grown, what I've learned about myself. And then we have the um, like back page here, let yourself rest. And then self-care that works for me. So pretty. So chin up and breathe. And then we've got some stickers. So you can obviously use these stickers in there. Oh, that pretty rose gold foil. Oh my gosh, it's really, really pretty. So I am loving these journals that I got for myself. So I've got these two journals. And then of course, I've got my calendar. So now it's time to put them into my folio. Okay, so these are just like the last steps. So my folio is set up. And I think what I'm going to do back here is I'm going to grab the stickers from the books. And I think I'm gonna put them in the back there so that way I will remember them because I will see them better there. And then that also kind of frees up the folders for whatever else I might wanna put there. So these are all really pretty stickers. The um, planner has this sticker page, I don't think I showed you this, of just like heritage and awareness days. So I like that. So you can put that into your planner accordingly. And then I'm going to put all of these other stickers in here also. So I think I will put those right there. And that is perfect. So now I need to put my planners in here. And I think, I don't know which one I want to go first, either the gratitude and then the self-care back here or the self-care in front. And I think I'm going to put, I can switch it around, but I think I just like the way it aesthetically looks with this in the front. So when I open it up, it's got those florals there. I don't know, it's so hard to choose because they're both really pretty. This one's gonna go in the middle, but let's go ahead and start off with this like this. And I can always switch it around if I'd rather have this self-care one up front. So we'll see what happens. It's just, it's hard to choose because they're, they're both really pretty. So I'm glad because then I'm going to want to open them up and use them. Okay, so you slide that in there just like that. And you definitely have to like adjust the bands a little bit. Kind of finesse it in here. And find out which one you need to like pull on. And let's see. Okay, so these are like together here. So I think I'm gonna put this, okay, so this one is the planner. So that one's gonna go next. I like that in the middle, I've realized. And I need to adjust these. I sort of put them in and then I kind of adjust the cords 
you know, because you got to give yourself like slack that you need to fit the other ones in here. And um, this one here. All right. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at how pretty it is. See how like it's so chunky just with the three. I can't imagine like a fourth one being in here, but I think that that is perfect. And then let's open this up and see what's going on here. So this card is a little bit bigger. I think that this is kind of interfering. So let me move this over because I felt some oddness. Yeah, that feels better. All right, so I've got that there. I need to put my pictures in here. I've got this all set up. Oh, I love the way that looks. And then I've got my gratitude journal. And then I have my planner right here. And I like to have my planner in the center because when I open this up to write in it, it's even. Like it lays more evenly when I have a book in the front and then in the back. So that's one thing I have noticed. Um, and I'll probably keep this like this. Now, if I need to take this somewhere and slim it down, it's so easy. You just take the books out or you add whatever books you might want to take with that type of thing. But for now, this is going to work out perfectly for me. And I'm so happy with this. Oh my gosh. So here's the back parts. And then, um, I've got my stickers back here. So that's perfect. I could put like a picture back here, whatever I like. So I am really happy and I am ready to go in this planner for 2023. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. So exciting. It's gorgeous. I love it. And then I did get this pencil case to go with it to match it. The one that I was using previously was this one right here, which is the Planny Pack, which I do like this because it wraps like right around the planner. And I got this one because... I liked the idea of it matching really nicely with my planner that I'm currently using. Um, but I don't really use this that much like this, except for if I'm traveling. Let me close this. Except if I'm traveling, I will go ahead and put this together. So I thought, you know what, let me try this one instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer what I have in here. Um, just have some like colored pens and some other little supplies. So I'm gonna put all of this in here. So that way, if I do need to go anywhere, it's like ready for me to go. I've got my little correction tape. I've got tweezers. And that's really kind of all I have in here. I will put other things in here if I need to, but that's really cute. Now this is a little bit different because this one is one that's supposed to like, I think it stands up better if it's like fuller, but you open it up and then you pull this down and it's supposed to like pop up and just stand like that. So it does work. It's really cute for on the go, but in the meantime, I'm gonna pull it up and close it up and it's ready for me. So, oh my gosh, so happy with everything that I have here. And yeah, I'm really excited for 2023. Setting up the planners is, it's so much fun, um, but it also like takes a little time because you kind of want to figure out like what you want to put in there and how you want to like dress it up and really customize it and make it your own. So obviously you can do whatever you want. You can add stickers. You don't have to add stickers. Um, you know, decorate the inside pages the way that I did for my journals or just leave them the way that they are. Whatever you choose, there's no right or wrong way to set up your planner. Um, you just want to make sure that you have it set up in a way that's going to work best for you. All right, well, I hope that you like this video. If you did, please be sure to hit the like, be sure to be subscribed and hit that notification bell. That way you will be notified when my videos come out. 
drop a comment down below. Give me your thoughts. What do you think of this super cute system? Okay, I love it. Let me know if you're going to be using something like this or what are you going to be using for your daily planning needs, if anything at all. All right. Just a couple of other things that I want to remind you about. I am an affiliate for Erin Condren. So if you do shop Erin Condren, I greatly appreciate if you click on my link. You can find that down below in the description. Thank you so much to those of you that have already used it. And thank you for um, any future purchases that you make using my link. I really appreciate it. It really does help support me as a content creator. And one more reminder, I am on Instagram and I am on TikTok. So if you are on either of those platforms or on both of them, be sure to look for me there at It's a Wonderful Plan and give me a follow on both of those platforms. Well, thank you very, very much for joining me in today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.